Famous for its beautiful beaches and quiet towns, the electorate of Karangamite is no stranger to massive live music events. Amidst calls for festivals to be restricted across Australia, Karangamite continues to successfully host an array of music festivals throughout the year. The area sees over 12,000 ticket holders flock to long-running festivals like Golden Plains and Meredith. Geelong local and Meredith organiser Paul Nolan sees the benefit of the festivals for the area. Between the two festivals, between Meredith and Golden Plains, just guessing, um, I'd say anywhere between uh, 80, 80 to $100,000 um, to, the, to, the, um, to the groups that man it, which would be the kindergarten and the school and the football club and the cricket club and the YWCA and the fire department and all that sort of thing. So it's, it's significant money to those, to those, uh, those little institutions. On a normal day, Meredith is a quiet regional town, but it's also home to thousands of festival goers twice a year. The money generated by the festivals funds the local clubs and associations, and it's this community feel that keeps festival goers coming back year after year. However, despite their popularity, music festivals remain controversial after recent drug-related deaths around the country. And not everyone enjoys the attention that they bring. Like it's an inconvenience when it's on because of the traffic and all that stuff. However, locals value the money and tourism these events bring to their small towns. It's put Meredith on the map. It brings lots of outside people. Um, everyone benefits, really. It's good for our businesses. It's good for the town. People love Meredith. I think the advantages are far outweigh the disadvantages. Ruby Staley and Christina Karras, City Journal News.